New this morning, police have released video of the suspect who vandalized a statue of George Floyd. You can see him riding up on a skateboard and splattering the paint before taking off. It happened yesterday morning at Union Square, and this isn't the first time the statue has been targeted. CBS 2's Jessica Layton has more. We put it in two days ago, and 48 hours later, here we are with vandalism. Discouraged artists scrubbed and peeled the thick paint from the sculpture for hours Sunday, feeling sickened but not surprised. Someone had the nerve to disrespect this important symbol of justice in Union Square Park. It's the place where thousands marched in memory of George Floyd and in protest of police brutality. It's really heartbreaking. Um, it's really sad that people would deface and vandalize something that we worked so hard on. I know it hurts the Floyd family as well to see that their son that they've lost, their brother that they've lost, is being like vandalized again. Floyd, a black man, died in May 2020 after a white Minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck for about 10 minutes. The six foot sculpture of Floyd's face was first vandalized days after it debuted in Flatbush, Brooklyn, in June, shaking and angering a community that had already been through so much. Whoever did it, you should be ashamed of yourself. He already had, he already suffered enough. Police say that incident was the shameful work of four people tied to Patriot Front, an organized extremist group, and considered it a hate crime. This one comes three days after its unveiling, along with statues of John Lewis and Breonna Taylor in Manhattan. George Floyd's brother, Terrence, revved up the crowd at the dedication with this rallying cry. We're going to stay woke, and we're going to do this in love, peace, and unity, and we're going to keep healing together. So far, there are no arrests. Reporting from Union Square Park, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.